In this video, we will show you how to get started with Automate AI Design in 3Shape Dental System. We will cover how to review and accept design proposals, how to edit them if needed, as well as how to manage automate cases and settings. Automate AI Design Proposals are integrated into Dental System from Dental System version 2024.1.1 onwards. Automate as a standalone online service has existed since 2020 and has generated more than 4 million crown designs. By default, any case that is created in Dental Manager or is accepted from an inbox will be analysed by Automate for its eligibility for an AI design. For Automate to work, make sure to follow these guidelines. You must be signed into your 3Shape account in Dental System and have an internet connection. The work type defined in the order form must be within the list of supported work types. Crowns, inlay, onlay and anatomical copings. Bridges will be available from Dental System 2025 onwards. It is worth noting that we are continuously adding new work types into Automate. An antagonist scan is required for Automate to work. The upper and lower jaw scans also need to be in a registered bite. This means the jaw scans need to be in a close to natural relation to one another. An antagonizing tooth is not required for the design, and Automate can also work with antagonizing designs simultaneously. The Automate service is compatible with scans in DCM scan format from 3Shape desktop scanners, 3Shape trio scanners, and integrated third-party intraoral scans, but will not work with STL, PLY, OBJ, or third-party scans. Regardless of whether you create an order for lab scanning or receive and modify an order from the inbox with intraoral scans, Automate does not require specific actions in the order form to work. Just define the order with the desired work type and manufacturing process or material as usual. When orders are being processed, the status of the case can be easily monitored in the Application Status column, which you can also enable by right mouse clicking on column names in the Orders field and enabling Application Status. The Material and Manufacturing Process settings and Dentist Specific Design settings selected in the Order form will be implemented in the AI designs. On the left side of the screen, the AI proposal filters help to give an overview of orders that have been processed by Automate, which is useful, especially if you have a large number of orders being handled by Automate. If the status in the application status column states not eligible, it usually either means that the work type in the order form is not currently supported, or a case has a combination of both eligible and ineligible designs, which will also not be accepted by Automate. Next, we will have a look at a couple of scenarios, which may help understand why a case has failed and possible solutions. If a status is failed and the case should be otherwise eligible for Automate, you may simply retry uploading it to Automate manually by selecting Manual Upload. Preparation scans with margins that are hard to detect might cause a failed status. However, then it is possible to set the margin in Dental Designer exit the case before further design is done and manually upload the case afterwards, helping the AI to obtain this information. Once the order status states ready for review, it is possible to open the AI design proposal review window to inspect the outcome of the design by double-clicking on the order or through the right-click context menu. The review window has individual visibility sliders for the preparation and antagonist scans, as well as the design or designs. The antagonist and preparation scan visibility can also be toggled on and off using the classic dental system keyboard shortcuts. Additionally, a set of tools allows you to evaluate different aspects of the design. The plain view shows the designs without additional information. The occlusal clearance tool shows the proximity and contact areas to the antagonist and the neighboring contacts tool shows the approximate contact area and the strength of contacts with a heat map. The thin areas visualization highlights areas on the design that do not meet the desired material thickness. 
This information is based on the parameters of the material selected in the order form. After reviewing the design, you have the option to decline it, accept it for production or accept it for editing. If you are happy with the design, you can directly accept it for production. The window closes and the CAM output is automatically generated. If you decline the design, you can start over with your normal design workflow of the Restoration in Dental Designer. In case the design needs any changes or modifications, you have the option of accepting the order for editing. Once selected, the window closes and you can open the case in Dental Designer by right-clicking on the order and selecting Redesign. If the Auto Open Cases for editing setting is enabled, Dental Designer opens the case automatically. When Dental Designer opens, you are not required to complete any of the workflow steps, like in a classic design workflow, but you can jump to a specific workflow step and make changes if needed. For instance, you can directly sculpt the design in the Smile Composer step. When ready, just proceed through the workflow steps, save and close the case, and generate the CAM output. In cases where the margin line needs editing, you are able to accept the case for editing and make the desired changes to the margin line. After this, you can simply go to the Smile Composer step and reconnect the restoration to the margin line. The other option is, after editing the margin line, save your changes, close the case and resubmit it to automate using the manual upload button. Reuploading the same case will not deduct your automate balance. Copies of cases will not be auto-submitted, however, they can be manually uploaded. If needed, it is also possible to add the design of a physical working model to an automate designed case, either by using Model Builder or Model Builder Express. This can be done by simply defining the desired model solution in the order form when defining the case parameters. For a case containing a model, the AI proposal for the supported work type will be generated first. Once the AI proposal has been accepted, Model Builder Express or Model Builder can be open to proceed with model creation. When using Model Builder, it is good to know that if you are working with a case with individual dies and the restorative margin for the case is not the same as the die cutout margin, for example, in an inlay case, then the separate cutout margin is defined by accepting the case for editing and marking the margin in the dedicated step in Dental Designer. Next, we'll have a look at the Automate settings and which changes Automate has brought into Dental Manager. The Automate-related functionalities can be identified by the dedicated AI icon. In addition to the case status indicators located on the left side of the screen, there is a button in the overhead toolbar called AI Proposals, which gives you access to general settings and instructions. The Auto Upload setting gives you the possibility to enable or disable automatic upload of cases to automate. By default, eligible cases are automatically uploaded to automate in the background. If disabled, cases can be manually uploaded by selecting the case and selecting Upload to Automate AI. Copies of cases will not be automatically uploaded, but can be uploaded manually. There is also a possibility to enable or disable the automatic opening of the case in Dental Designer when the design is accepted for editing. Auto Open for editing is off by default. To optimize usage of Automate, you can also enable two status columns by right mouse clicking on the column names in the orders field and enabling application and application status to track the progress of the cases. The columns can also be reordered in the field according to which ones you prefer to see first. To stay updated on what work types we will continue to add, information on how to upgrade your dental system and to get access to frequently asked questions, then please visit 3Shape Support.